Hey guys, I'm Lila Parsons and I'm here today at Bashtag HQ and I brought along my little, well it doesn't look so little, makeup bag to have a little rummage through and show you guys my kind of essentials and talk about any tips I've learned. I've been a TV presenter and model for a few years so I've kind of a, got a few tricks of the trade from some of the um, makeup artists I've worked with. Okay, so first up I'm just going to talk you through my kind of daily essentials. And this baby, I cannot leave the house without it. It's my tangle teaser. My hair can go a little bit wild, um, particularly with the fringe, so it's just good to have that on hand always. Yeah, so that's a definite. That comes with me everywhere. I get a little bit upset if I found I've forgotten it. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna talk about my base and what I use for skincare. So I've only discovered this recently, but I really like it. It's from L'Occitane. It's a BB cream. What does it call itself? Um, creme de beauté sublime. Mmm, swanky. And it's really kind of subtle and... I mean, I suppose it's all similar effects to a foundation. It gives you kind of flawless coverage. Well, hopefully that's the idea. And I like to mix it in with a bit of sun cream, just because I'm pale and I need to look after my skin. So, yeah, I'll mix that together in my hands. And then I will... This is something I've learnt from makeup artists over the years. I'll use a sponge to put it on. So like, cover my face with it, um, quite like generously. And then I will use this bad boy, where is it? Okay, so kind of a buffing brush. So then once I've got that on, I will just like buff it into the skin. And that supposedly makes it more kind of flawless. And it doesn't, look, it doesn't sort of get cakey on top, especially if it like goes into creases or, so I'll carry this around with me. Like particularly when I was modeling and I had to go trek all over the place for castings, I'd carry it around in my handbag. And before I went into a casting, I'd like get my mirror out and like, get it under my eyes and do the little, and like, spread the, um, you know, where your like, foundation gets caught in the creases on your face and stuff. So, yeah, very handy. I love this. This is bronzer, so I'm quite pale. It's nice to have a bit of colour. I'm sorry about the uh, state of it. It sort of fell apart, but I love it so much that I sellotaped it back together. Um, so I'll attack my face with that and a big brush and kind of sweep it all over and get, uh, hopefully, a bit of colour. And then I have got from Benefit, Bella Bamba. It's kind of a, it's a blusher, but it's sort of like got summery, bronzy tones. And I use a special brush, a little blusher brush. And then do that and then try and like smile like a freak in the mirror and put it on. So I always use these together. I'll pop the bronzer on first and kind of do it like sort of quite wide on the cheeks and a bit on the forehead and sometimes the nose. And then after that, I will just do like the apples of my cheeks with the, with the um, Bella Bamba. So that kind of gives me a bit of life, a bit of color in my face, which is always handy when you're on camera or you're going to press events or something. Okay, and next I'm gonna look at eye stuff. Eye stuff, eye makeup. So, um, because it's pretty important, especially if you're on camera or something, you know, windows to your soul, you need to connect with the viewers. And if, I mean, if I'm lucky enough to have a makeup artist at work, they will give me eye, like, full on lashes, which I love. Like, I like the individual ones, they can sort of stick them in carefully and then they look really natural, but they just do give you that kind of big wide-eyed look. But I can't do them myself at home, so when it's just me doing my makeup, I will just have sort of stick to like three simple things. So I'll have some um, Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. It's pretty, it's pretty subtle this. It's um, just kind of, as my makeup artist would say, gives your eyes a bit of 3D. Don't really know what that means, but I think it works. <laughs> um, so I'll put that on with this brush. Um, and kind of sweep it in the, uh, I mean, someone's saying it's like use, it's like a, think of it like a windscreen wiper in the, in the, in the socket, so I just kind of go psh, 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 psh. Anyway, so I do that, and then mascara. I've tried so many mascaras, like all the swanky, fancy ones, and this is my favorite at the moment. It's really cheap, just collection 2000, but it works really well. Uh, pump up the volume, yeah, it gives you kind of, hopefully, big, full slash effect. Um, I do love, I've got it in here, but again, it's something that I tend not to do myself unless I've got loads of time to like correct it because I get it wrong, is the, the flicky eyes. I love that, it's such a good look. So yeah, if I'm working with a professional, then I will always, <laughs> always enjoy having a nice big kind of cat eye flick. But if it's myself, yeah, I tend to find, because I kind of want to do my makeup in like five or 10 minutes. I'm pretty, pretty quick like that. So yeah, that takes too long. <laughs> But what I do like is to have black eyeliner on the inside. And this one's a really good one. It's from Bourgeois. And 
it's kind of different to normal eyeliner. You, you don't have to sharpen it, which I like, because I can never find a pen, an eyeliner sharpener. It's kind of waxy, so it's sort of soft to go on. Um, when I first got this, I got given it, and I thought it was um, a black lipstick, but it is not. It is an eyeliner. And uh, yeah, so I kind of put it on the, on the waterline, is it called? I think that kind of gives your eyes a bit of cat-like effect. And then last but not least is lips. And like normally if it's just kind of day to day and I'm not you know, on camera or anything, I will just go for like lip balm, just like nice and natural. But I always need lip balm on me because I've always got dry lips. But if I'm going to an event or like on camera, I find it's really, well, it's fun to have something with a bit of a pop. So I really like this one. It is from Collection 2000 again. And yeah, it's in, this one's in bubblegum shade and it's just kind of a nice little pop of colour to sort of brighten up your look. I think if, like, if I was leaving here now and going off to like a party or something, I'd put it on and it would make me feel a bit more glammed up. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of the products, if you've tried any of them, and uh, any recommendations that you guys might have. And do not forget to subscribe to Fashtag. <laughs>